In today's video, we're talking about the Premiere Pro CC18 exam, and we're looking at the fourth domain called Creating and Modifying Visual Elements. Specifically, we're looking at subdomain 4.7 called Manage Audio in a Video Sequence. Part A of this subdomain tells us that we need to be able to add audio to a sequence. Now, this is easy enough to do. In my music bin, I have an audio track, and all I need to do is just click and drag that onto the timeline, and it went ahead and placed audio to my sequence. It's as simple as that. I'm going to go ahead and bring the out point all the way over here so that my music track ends with my video clip. I'm also going to bring this in just because we're going to be fading the music and that'll defeat the purpose because it naturally fades in. Now, if I was working on a project and I wanted to fade in or out music, I probably wouldn't play with the keyframes to do this. I would go to the effects panel, go to the audio transitions, crossfade it add the constant gain to the beginning and the exponential fade to the end and you have the option to drag this in if you want the fade to start sooner but that's not what they want us to do here so i'm going to show you three ways to add keyframes to the audio so that you can complete this task on the exam should you have to edit the audio the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to double click in this empty space so that this track expands, but I also have some extra options that I didn't have before. I'm gonna go ahead and select my audio track here. And with my cursor here at the zero zero mark, I'm gonna add a keyframe by just clicking here. And if you look very carefully, there's a little dot in the audio file that's letting us know that we've added a keyframe. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my playhead to the two second mark. And with my cursor there, I'm gonna add a second keyframe. I'm now going to scrub to the eight second mark. And we were using this to add a keyframe. The second way to add a keyframe is to use the pen tool. You can click here on the pen tool or you can click P on your keyboard to access that. And what I can do now is just click here and it went ahead and added that keyframe for me. And now the last thing I want to do is just get to the end of this clip and I want to add my last keyframe. So now I have four keyframes in total. And what I'm looking to do here is to fade in the music and fade out the music. And so on this first keyframe, if I just click and drag that down, I can start the clip off with no music. Now you want to be careful. Notice if I drag my cursor to the right, that keyframe's moving around. I want to keep it at the beginning of the clip and I want it to move around and I want it to be at the very bottom so that no audio plays. And I want to do the same for the end of the clip. So on my fourth keyframe, I'm just going to click and drag that down. And again, make sure it's right at that 10 second mark and it's not sliding around and we'll let go. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the beginning of the clip. I'm going to hit the space bar on my keyboard to begin playing this clip. Listen carefully to the audio as it fades in and fades out. Because of those keyframes, it faded in and it faded out very easily. Now I'm going to give you another example. I'm going to open up this sequence here. Up to this point, I've showed you two ways to add a keyframe. The first way is by using the audio track. The second way is to use the pin tool. This time we're going to use the effects controls panel. But before we do that, let's look at our sequence here. In the beginning of audio track one, there's no audio up until about eight seconds in, and then I begin speaking. So let me go ahead and play this so you can hear it. In today's video, we're gonna look at starting. You can't really hear what I'm saying because the music is dominating the track. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add keyframes to the audio so that I can fade out the music when I begin to speak so that you can hear what I'm saying, but you can still hear the music in the background. So I'm going to put my cursor at the beginning of this clip. I'm going to go to the effect controls panel. And what we're going to look here in the audio effects is at the volume. The first thing I want to do with my cursor at the beginning of the clip is for a level, I'm going to add a keyframe. And notice very carefully, there's a little symbol here. It's actually a diamond. You just can't see it all. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrub on this playhead until I get to about the eight second marks in my timeline. Notice it. Pull this playhead as well. And I'm going to add my second keyframe. Now with this second keyframe selected, I'm going to go ahead and drag 
my decibels down to about there and notice that that keyframe drug all the way down. I'm going to go back to the beginning of this clip about here and I'll let it play. In today's video, you couldn't really hear it. So what I'm going to do is instead of playing with the effects control panel, because I'd rather just play with this keyframe is I'm just going to click and drag this up a little bit and let's listen again. In today's video, we're going to look at the music still might be a little bit loud, but you can just continue to play around with that keyframe until the audio is where you'd like it to be.